Hello my beautiful hammerheads and welcome back to another video. I hope you had a wonderful Zemgunalia, you had the wonderful gift of hobby and now we have the wonderful gift of news. So let's dive in. First of all we have Azrael revealed, unwrapping a chapter master cloaked in secrets with a great new Primaris model and still the derpy back banner. Why couldn't you change this guys? Come on, what is this pose? <laughs> but what I love, the great helmet with the Mark 7 helmet and the wings. Oh my god, I love this on the Primaris model. The Watcher, also so cute. I want one. When I look more closely to this, as awesomely as Asriel is painted, what is the scabbard and these arms? This is weird. Brush strokes and everything. This is weird. But okay, maybe they ran out of time, I totally understand. They have a lot on their plate. Ah yes, but I love this model. Dark Angels not for me, but I am happy for every Dark Angel player out there. And with the supposedly leaked datasheet with page 21, Arcs of Omen book, they said no matched rules, but they never said something about datasheets. So probably, maybe, in the Broken Realm saga of Age of Sigma, they also had characters in there. So we probably get him very soon. And then we have start your new year, new army project with four more Space Marine Battle Forces. Because we did not have enough loyalists in the Christmas boxes. But yeah, Xenos boxes in two or three months. This is my prophecy. But damn you, James, you broke my prophecy. Because we kinda knew that these boxes are coming but the filling of the boxes is not what I thought it would be. Because I thought that James Workshop would use this to bring in new characters. But no, this is just old things we already knew in a box with new artwork. And not everyone has new artwork, by the way. And again, this is a box with things coming in duos. In the March of the Iron Strike Force, we have two Redemptor Dreadnoughts. Don't forget in the Raven Guard box set, which is an army also painted in black. We have two Invicta suits. Hmm. But yeah, okay, we have, as I've said, the two Redemptors, the Intercessors, we have Iron Father Pharos and the Tech Marine, which is nice, which is a very good box, by the way. Well, for me, because I have none of those. Somehow, weirdly, I still have only 10 Intercessors and those are the ones of the Dark Imperium box set. And I ha still have no Redemptors. I don't know how this happened, but this box set, probably for me in a couple of months, if it is still available, then... This is my second favorite box of the four. Then we have Salamander's Warforged Strike Force, my least favorite box. Sadly, as much as I love the Salamanders, we have 20 Intercessors, we have three Aggressors, we have three Eradicators, and we have the character model Agrax Earthshade in here. For me, 20 Intercessors is a little bit too much. They could have gone with the route of take 10 of those away and put 5 more heavy intercessors in there so we have more Gravis armor. But yeah, okay. Then we have number 3 for me, White Scars, Storm of Trogoris, which is so sad. Everyone here in this box is on bike. And this is one of my prophecies in which I said they could use this to bring Kozaro Khan with a bike, but no, he is the only one without bike. He really has to sprint to keep up with his brothers. What is this box? Come on, guys, why? You could have waited with 
the salamanders and the white scars box set and given us an Eldari one and a Tyranid one. Or if you wanted something painted white, you could have given us Tau. But this is sad. But yeah, we have two times three Outriders, two times the ATVs, one chaplain on bike, and as I've said, Kozaruka on foot. <laughs> then we have my boys, my number one box set, the Scions of McCrack, which is the best box. And this is not because I am biased. Well, kind of a little bit. Uh, because with the Iron Hands box set, with the Salamanders box set, and the White Scars box set, you can do so much stuff with other chapters. But with this one, this is hard because, well, first of all, Tigurius is kinda easily converted to another librarian, but Kalga and the Victrix Honor Guard is really tough to convert. But the rest of the box is amazing. We have 10 Hellblasters, 10 Intercessors, 3 Blade Guard Veterans, which is also a viable choice for the Salamanders instead of the 10 Intercessors. But yeah, this is an amazing box set. So this one is a definite buy for me. And I'm kind of disappointed that we don't have a special artwork for this one. It's just the Codex artwork. So in my disappointment, I will march for McCrack. Because as I've said, I only have the Dark Imperium box set. I have Indomitus and then some other shenanigans. But this would be my second Kalga. That's okay, because I need a second one. I don't have Tigurius, I don't have Bladeguard Veterans, except those in Indomitus, and they are, well, easy to build. But yeah, this is really weird. They could have used this opportunity just to give us two Space Marine box sets and two Xenos box sets. But yeah, I hope that we will get four Xenos box sets in as I've said, two or three months, or probably February. That would be awesome. Then we would have four boxes at the minimum for every month until we have every faction. But somehow I think this makes kind of sense with the rumor that Armor of Contempt is... It will be gone in January with the data update thingy and new point costs. So this is going to be interesting. I just want Marines to cost more without Armor of Contempt, because it's still an elite army, but it feels kinda hoardy. But yeah, what are your thoughts on all of this? What did you get for Sangunalia? Please leave your thoughts and questions in the comment section down below. I am keen to know what you have to say. And while you're down there, do all the YouTube stuff because hitting buttons is fun. If you want to support the channel and you don't know what to say, just write too much Space Marines in the comments. Have a great day, my friend. Stay fantastic. Stay hydrated. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!